everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I'm not sure if we're due for a random run, but I don't think anyone's gonna complain about one too many Kane runs, because Kane is one of the more fun characters uh, in the game to have. I mean, he's one of the best characters, obviously, as a result of that. Uh, nice little side effect, where every single pill is always good. Uh, but in particular, you know, a little bit of extra speed to start with. I'm not sure if he starts with a little bit of extra tierness. I'm not totally sure. Tierness, Everdeen! The trait on fire! Doesn't really make any sense at all. In our first item room, though, we're gonna have Monstro's Tooth. This is one of the very, very minute cases, I would say, in uh, The Binding of Isaac, where Monstro's Tooth is actually useful. We have teleported immediately to a deal with the Devil Room. I would love so much, so very, very much, to be able to pick up technology. Unfortunately, we just phase through it, and that doesn't do very much for us at all. Um, we are gonna have our boss fight approaching very soon, and we're not gonna be able to get back to that deal with the devil. There's just no way, unless we get a, um, uh, please, oh, I was actually exactly hoping for a half red heart, because that allows us to come back in here, and we'll at least have some health when we leave. Um, yes, there is one full heart right there, but, uh, ooh, did I want to really do this? I don't know, that was kind of a scary situation, but we'll use one bomb to leave, but if I was gonna use one bomb to leave, I might as well have just used one bomb to get in and saved myself some of the hassle, but on the bright side, we did at least get uh, literally 11 cents from that shop, which is pretty solid. I'm not gonna go to the, or sorry, not the shop secret room. I'm not gonna go to the shop right away. That's how it got into my brain. But yes, there's no way that we're gonna be going to the uh, deal with the devil room on this floor. It's a shame because those are some pretty, so oh my god, Monstro's Tooth doing work on that boss. And you know what, to be honest, these squeezies are pretty solid pickup. Especially because it's going to put us in a position where maybe we'll have spirit hearts that we can use on the blood bank on this floor. If there is a blood bank, which there could be, given uh, that we are uh, on a second floor and we have more than five cents. I know it doesn't normally happen this way that we'd get a, a blood bank on the cellar too, but do keep in mind. Uh, that's going to put us over 15 cents as well. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, normally we don't have over five cents by the time we go to cellar part two or basement part two if I had to guess. Anyway... It's a shame that we missed out on that deal with the devil because there were some useful items there, but maybe that will set us up for a deal with the angel and get a free half-decent item if we earn a, uh, you know, post-boss room on this one. I'm not sure how that exactly works, but, you know, logically that seems to make sense to me. We got a speed upgrade, which is unnecessary, but still welcome for now. Um, that could change in the future, and we will go fight our boss right away because we do have Monstro's Tooth charged up. Maybe I've underrated Monstro's Tooth. The fact that it charges up quickly enough uh, to use fairly frequently seems like it's a nice asset to have for bosses. We got a range upgrade. Not my favorite pill pool of all time so far, but that's okay. Uh, Gertie Jr., maybe I didn't over or underrate Monstro's Tooth at all, because now it only did half of the damage that I needed to actually kill Gertie Jr. here, and that's okay, but, you know, obviously I would prefer it if we could do a little bit more uh, heinous damage here. Look who we've got our heinous on now. I like the word heinous, because it means bad things, but it also sounds like anus. It's just perfect, isn't it? So there's our deal with the devil. We get nine lives in the forget-me-now. Weirdly enough, this is one of the few situations, again, where I kind of feel that the forget-me-now is useful, but not as useful as just fucking off forever. So we'll stick with what we've got for now. Uh, got a lot of money out of those fires, actually, so the shop on this floor is going to be of critical importance. No bombs, unless we can buy one, and if we can buy one, then it should be fairly easy to find that secret room. That was a difficult dodge there, uh, but we made it work. And there we go. We actually found a secret room by ourselves. We get the shovel. Is the shovel better than Monstro's Tooth? Uh, old me certainly would have thought so, but new me, at least within the past year or so, I don't really value the shovel because there's no reason to skip floors. Skipping floors is actually bad for business because it makes you worse in the long run, but it does make things go faster. Um, we get notched axe. Fucking wonderful. Uh, the Monstro's Tooth is still better than Notched Axe. Barely, but yes. Uh, and we will use a key to get into our item room, even though theoretically we could use a bomb because there is a uh, secret room that we could have bombed our way through there, but I didn't know that going into it. And at least we get a damage upgrade. So Blood of the Martyr's been showing up like crazy lately. I'm glad to have it because it's a damage upgrade. At the very least, we got damage, HP, speed, and range upgrades on this floor. Everything else kind of shitty. We lost our keys, but so be it. I would say that was a pretty good floor, and maybe we've set the precedent for deals with the angel in the future now. So obviously, as much as I'd like to go to that room, that's not going to be uh, possible right off the bat. Theoretically, maybe I could use Monstro's Tooth to get this chest. I never use Monstro's Tooth, so forgive me, but I got kind of like a mental playground going on here. Uh, if I use Monstro's Tooth close to one of those enemies, when the enemies are close to the 
rocks. Maybe I could get to there, or I could just blow it up with a bomb, which actually seems perhaps more suitable. Considering that Monstro's Tooth can be used once every three rooms, I, um, I do want to use it. I just don't think that this room is necessarily suitable for it. Now that we have an extra bomb, we'll try this out, so I'm gonna do, uh... It's very unlikely that this will uncover anything, but I think it's worth trying regardless, just in case the second secret room is right here. It is! Uh, you'd be surprised how often that works out for me, and there's an eternal heart that I will take, because we're very unlikely to find a blood bank, and I don't want to waste another bomb trying to get to it later. So that has worked out fantastically. This is another room where, uh, given the silkworm tendency to move around a lot, I don't think Monstro's Tooth is super viable here. Really, I'm hoping that we end up fighting, like, Gertie or something. So if we end up fighting... Cool! Oh, stupid of me. Really stupid of me. If we end up fighting Gertie or something, uh, then it's a, you know, standalone, single-target foe. Good things could happen for us. So we're just gonna keep this going for now. And I do want to go to that curse room, but I don't necessarily want to go to it if it's maybe gonna cost me my eternal heart at some point in the future. So we're just gonna take a quick look around what we have in here. We'll, we'll go through with this. A little bit more money may or may not ever be important. Real question is, do we go to the shop on this floor? If we, uh, if we don't have a key is where I was gonna finish that sentence. Uh, and I think it's perhaps justifiable, especially if we could buy a spirit heart in there. That would make going to the curse room uh, way less of a theoretical chore. Theoretical chore, also a great name for like, maybe like not a Christian rock band, but like a spiritual rock band, you know, like Creed. I'm not, the Creed references are coming fast and furious. Surmount stat by September is not going well. Um, you, if you remember, that was my, uh, I am gonna try this out. Uh, that was my Google Trends, um, oh, okay, we'll lose one, it's a secret room, it's the main secret room. We might lose both of our spirit hearts making this happen, no, we'll only lose, uh, one. Okay, so that's fine. We lost half a spirit heart looking at that. We found the secret room, peace of mind at least. Scott, uh, surmount stat by September, hashtag surmount stat by September, sorry. Is my, uh, social media quest to eclipse Scott Stapp's, uh, internet presence with my own internet popularity. Uh, by this time next year, or by this time in the fall, I suppose I should say. Uh, it's not going fantastically so far, Scott Stapp uh, continues to edge me out a little bit. I mean, it's not really fair, is it? Like, that dude, he he had a, like a sex tape, and he has like the best-selling single of the 2000s from in the modern rock genre, whatever the fuck that means. So I've got an uphill battle ahead of me, but you know, I'm telling you, keep tweeting me, hashtag surmount Stapp by September, and I think we can make this happen. He seems like a guy who has absolutely no sense of humor as well, so if it does happen and he actually gets wind of it, I don't think he's gonna be happy. But in a way, that almost makes it more worth it. He might be a great guy. I, I should be honest here, I have no idea. You know, he just strikes me as the kind of guy who wrote with arms wide open, so maybe he doesn't really have a sense of humor at all. Uh, so I got an HP upgrade for beating Chubb, and then we got the ability to fly, which is pretty solid, and Looks like we're probably going to be completely unable to go to our boss, or sorry, our item room on this floor. Which is always shitty, but at least we have improved ourselves somewhat. Is there anything else I can do here? No, uh, no, not at all. Okay. So it's down to the next floor, and it's Caves Part 2, which is good. It's good that it's not the catacombs, at least, but we are in a bit of a tricky spot. We also got the battery on that floor, which is a nice pickup uh, for making Monstro's Tooth a little bit more effective. Don't have to be nearly as conservative in my use of Monstro's Tooth anymore. Not that I was being conservative in the first place, I suppose, but you now I have to be even less so. And I imagine we're going to end up fighting uh, Greed here. That just seems fairly obvious to me. Uh, more Spirit Hearts is nice. We could get an arcade on this floor. Uh, sorry, I was wrong. We actually fight Super Greed on this floor. He's Super Greedy. And that's fine, because um, maybe he'll drop a key when the fight's over, and that'll allow me to go to the item room. You know you want it. Hey, you dropped the key. Exactly what I predicted. Now, the Lover's card is not useful yet, but I do think that there's a very good chance of coming across an arcade on this floor. And arcades are great for us as Kane for a number of reasons. Um, obviously, it's important to have the uh, blood bag show up if possible. More for the HP than the speed. I think that should be pretty obvious by this point. Um, in addition, we can... Oh, wow, we got small rock. That's actually awesome. Now we can use the speed upgrade. Um, but uh, in addition... All fortune tellers will exclusively pay out with good stuff for us, I think, as a result of having the luck foot. I may be mistaken on that, but I don't think I am. 
One thing I haven't talked about yet is that the streak is still alive, isn't it? I'm, I'm at like seven or eight videos, maybe even more. Someone in the comments has probably uh, quantified it by now, and I, I thank you very much for doing so. Uh, I just haven't seen it. Uh, but quantified how many videos we've won in a row. And I'm very proud of myself, and I, I think I deserve to be very proud of myself. I don't say that all the time, uh, but I, I am really enjoying renewed either luck or proficiency in Isaac. Either of which, I think, is uh, an improvement up uh, upon where we started. I should be using Monstro's Tooth more, but we'll see. First things first, we are going to go fight uh, Case Part 2 boss. Hopefully Pestilence. Eh, it's Peep. Peep, don't jump. Thank you. Uh, and now Monstro's Tooth, it's kind of... It's wearing out its welcome a little bit, and I think you can understand that. Um, you know, when it only does a quarter of a boss's health, there are much better items. I mean, we can do a quarter of the boss's health in about four seconds of sustained fire here. That was bad damage on my part. No deal with the devil. A shot speed upgrade. I'm not going to pick it up. Just because the knockback is infuriating. I'm, I'm disappointed with the item that we got there. And truth be told, you know, between not having very many keys and not getting great items, it, it hasn't been a particularly huge bounty for us. Mind you, we're still doing fine here. I'm not saying the streak is necessarily going to continue to survive, but we're in an okay position. And we've got an item room approaching pretty soon that should uh, sort that out for me as well. I'm really disappointed that I used Monstro's Tooth to put one of these guys in the ooze state. Like... That I thought maybe it would just get them through the ooze state. I also thought maybe it would hit more than one of them at once. No such luck. Another key is very useful. And we have a boss trap room, but no arcade. That's a disappointing turnout on this floor. That that room is, you know, theoretically accessible if we just have a temperance card or something like that. Or a, a blood bank from an arcade, which you'd think we'd get on this floor given the amount of money we have. So be it. Alright, so we got Brother Bobby. Brother Bobby's well, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, it's an extra familiar for us. It's nice, sort of. It's not going to win the game for us, and we didn't get an HP upgrade on this floor. We did get a damage upgrade in the form of Small Rock, and uh, that's going to do it for this floor. So I think we're pretty quickly going to come up against uh, floors that are, you know, as or more difficult than, or as or more powerful, I should say, actually, to make that less ambiguous, as or more powerful than our actual uh, offensive capabilities are. So, defensively, we don't have a lot of HP, we don't have any familiars or orbitals, sorry, we do have uh, familiars, but we don't have orbitals, which is what I meant. Um, so, it's a bit of a weird spot, I would say. Uh, we, we need more items. It, yeah, you know why it's a weird spot? Because we look strong, but we're actually kind of weak. We're like a paper tiger right now. If we could actually get a little bit of uh, extra offensive power, or a little bit of extra defensive power, then we could find ourselves in a much better position. Sure, uh, Stigmata is a good item uh, with that. With respect to that. It gives us an extra HP, gives us some extra damage as well. And we also got the Compass in our Mob Trap Room, which is extremely unlikely, but obviously I'm thrilled about. So those are, you know, in the, in the course of the last two rooms or so, we've drastically improved ourselves. This might be enough to start uh, having hope again about how things could possibly go. Now, the Lover's Card is something that I'm saving for, you know, the theoretical appearance of a Blood Bank at some point. That was a really good Monstrous Tooth there. I'm learning my lesson about Monstro's Tooth, which is don't expect too much from it, and maybe you'll leave satisfied. Much like my motto about intercourse. Um, for me personally, of course. Um, now you should be dead. Wonderful. Cool. Uh, we can now see exactly where we're going here. And I really expect that this shop will probably not have a mini boss in it. Well, now we know for sure, because there actually is another mini boss on the level. Hopefully that's Gluttony, and we can snag an extra HP upgrade from him, or it, too. Um, in fact, if you're going to gender Gluttony, not that I would do that without uh, Gluttony's express permission. That was bad damage for me there. Um, both verbally and in the gameplay context. But, uh, yeah, you know, if uh, I would, was going to gender Gluttony, I might suggest that it's more likely to identify itself as a female based on its anatomy. But, of course, I don't necessarily want to assume that one way or the other. We got a luck upgrade in the form of our pill, or a, a pill in the form of a luck upgrade. Mm. One of those makes sense. We got an HP upgrade, so I'm not as salty as uh, I was a second ago. We also got that map, which is wonderful. And you know what? I am going to buy that heart, even though we have the lover's card, just so that I don't have to use the lover's card until it's absolutely necessary. Now we know where all secret rooms are, and we have a complete layout. It's very rare to get map plus compass on the same floor, but we've made it happen through no, uh, no work of our own, basically. And we got that tinted rock without even having to work for it. I will go to that secret room, unless I forget. That's my promise to you. Unless I fuck it up, I'll try to do my best. <laughs> now, no spikes on this one, so I gotta be a little bit more careful. Really want to avoid dodging into those neutral flies is the thing. There we go. 
And inside of here we have Lust. Now we are more than fast enough and more than mobile enough to get out of the way of Lust. And we're gonna pick up a free Poison Touch. So this floor has been really, really nice actually from an item perspective. I hope we get another deal with the Devil and I hope we snag another HP upgrade. Maybe in the form of meat from our boss or, you know, honestly I wouldn't mind fighting war. And what do we have in here? Three more cents. Okay. I wouldn't mind fighting war and getting one cube of meat to make me a little stronger for those late game boss fights. But uh, for now, uh, Necropolis 1 has turned out to be extremely useful for us. HP upgrade already. Uh, two HP upgrades, actually. Map, compass, and poison touch. And we've only been to like 10 rooms. The average payout for a room is like half of an upgrade. It's pretty crazy. We also did get a luck upgrade. Lottie fucking da. Um, let's put down our... Oh, we already went to this... First off, we already went to the secret room. Secondly, that wasn't even where the secret room was. Had a little bit of a brain fart there. That's okay. It happens sometimes. Um, let's just stay stay calm here and uh, carry on. We got Mom's Pearl. Great trinket. If we end up getting Mom's Purse, that'll be nice to carry with us and give us a much increased chance of getting spirit hearts throughout the game. Now, Mask of Infamy, obviously a little bit of a, a shitty boss fight. This is one that, you know, if you if you win this boss fight without getting hit or without getting hit much, you fucking earned it. Let's see if we can fucking earn it. I'm thinking we just, like, hang back, get the fuck away so that it can't track us very well, and then Monstro's Tooth. And it didn't work, and I, I kind of anticipated that it wouldn't, but... Now is the only time in, uh, you know, recent memory that I really wish that I got a... Uh, I, I picked up that shot speed upgrade, because I'm basically not hitting Mask of Infamy at all. So, you know, that's, that's creating some issues for me. We're gonna be here for a while. And that's okay, you know, if we can beat this and then as a, as payment for beating this, we'll get, uh, you know, maybe in, uh, maybe a deal with the devil afterwards. That poison touch might actually save us a lot of hardship here, even though I took damage and I'm not thrilled about it. I feel like the best way to do damage to Mask of Infamy if your shot speed is low is just kind of like hit him sideways and occasionally those shots do actually track, uh, not, not like track like a home, or like homing in on him, but uh, occasionally they do do damage despite seeming like they shouldn't. Now, we have uh, Monstro's Tooth. It may or may not get another charge. I forgot the fundamental kind of workings of the battery. I am going to take this shot speed upgrade because the tarot card might be useful. Eh, I think the Lover's card is better. I'm going to take Brimstone. People are going to be disappointed about that, so be it, man. Got to keep the streak alive. We don't have crazy damage to begin with, so basically let's talk about what we have here. The Hermit card is a key. The Lover's card is probably four cents and maybe more plays at the Blood Bank and more plays at the Arcade. So, I think the Lover's card is a little bit better. I don't think it's um, it's a huge difference, but I do think that the, the Lover's card is a little bit better. So, in doing this, my hope is that we'll uh, have a pretty good chance to get the uh, Blood Bank to pay out. We didn't. We will come, we'll, we'll play this arcade a lot because I want to earn pretty flies, if possible. But I also don't want to pick up the blood bag just yet. By the way, did I totally forget to go to the secret room? No, I did not. Excellent. Okay. Um, I, I want to stay low on hearts just in case there is a boss trap room on this floor. This is why I fucking hate uh, Curse of Blindness. We got puberty. Okay. That's why I hate Curse of Blindness because I can't see where the fuck I'm supposed to be going uh, and see if there's a boss trap room, especially when we already have a map and a compass. You would assume that we could sort that out. Uh, Mom's Pearl paying out with a lot of spirit outs here. Okay, good. It didn't blow up the three head Monty. Three skull Monty, I guess, as I like to call it. Keep it going here. Uh, the more we earn, the more we learn. That's always been my motto since yesterday. And we'll pick that up and do a little of that. And I haven't even had a chance to use Brimstone yet, but we'll see how that works for us. I really thought that was gonna be pretty fly. It was not. Uh, more money is what it is. With our luck upgrade, I expect to get a lot of payout, and so far it's working out pretty nicely. We haven't really lost much, if any, money at all here. Uh, please don't pay out with Fly Love. Please, if there is a benevolent god, don't pay out with Fly Love. Okay, thank you. It means we can spend a little bit more time doing some gambling here, and uh, I'll probably leave when we get down to 15 cents, which is pretty soon. There's 15 cents. We're gonna get a little bit more, uh, more here, obviously. Uh, which is fine. Okay, you know what? The fact that it paid out with the IV bag is actually fine. So, that allows us to do that. And now we know that we can at least go to a boss trap room if one exists. So, we'll come back to this arcade because gambling is theoretically potentially uh, amazing for us. And our damage, as you can see, is good, but not uh, incredible. It's good enough. Let's try a little monstrous tooth in here. We can just take out one enemy. Keep in mind, we do have the battery, so... Um, that's gonna make it a little bit more effective for us to use Monstro's Tooth. And there's another one. 
Um, sure, I mean, the fortune teller is a smart play as well. It's not gonna pay out with red hearts. It's gonna pay out with trinkets, which I don't really want because Mom's Pearl is amazing for me right now. Uh, but if it does give me spirit hearts, amazing. If it gives me tarot cards, like that one, awesome. Um, it's two of spades. Kinda just wanna pop it right away. Should I have Mom's Pearl active right now? Like, is that... No, nah, it's not even the combination that I want, but we'll keep it for now. Uh, cool, burnt penny. Whatever, we don't really need that many bombs. Uh, looks like we're still getting spirit hearts, which is fine. We'll always... Oh, okay, that means we leave. And I'll pop two of spades. And this is what we want. Mom's Pearl and the lovers, that's fine. The tick showed up, so we can't, in good conscience... Oh, I mean, in good conscience, we can stay there. It's just super risky. We can possibly cost ourselves a chance at a win. So... Um, X-ray goggles. It, the only time that's gonna be useful is basically to save us a bomb and on this floor because we can't see where the fuck we're going. So I don't want to accidentally go into the boss room, which is why I'm kind of staying away from what appear to be like larger terminals. And we're gonna gamble a little bit more on this bad boy right here. I shouldn't, uh, because we have the IV bag, we can gamble as much, or we can get as many red hearts as we want because we can always uh, take them back. So we'll go down to 15 cents again. Why 15 cents? Because that's the magical shop number. There's a pretty decent chance that we will have a uh, greed fight. That's a good payout there. Pretty decent chance we will have a greed fight, but so be it. So there's another temperance card. We want, uh, this is the combination we want. So we'll go low on this one again, and we really want to get the IV bag, if possible. But for now, let's move along a little bit. You might be saying, oh, this run is like, it's already sorted. He's got brimstone. That's not true, man. We also have Monstro's Tooth. Monstro's Tooth is not very good at all. The left hand is what it is, I guess, is the most polite way to put it, which is not that good in my opinion. We still have a shop to find on this floor, and it must be in uh, this general direction. If there is a boss trap room, I would be over the moon as well. Second secret room has a, a bunch of red hearts, so we will not have any trouble gambling on that temperance card if we want to. Uh, it would be nice to take out as many of the enemies as possible first. Brimstone really bad against Golden Poop usually. No need to use Counterfeit Penny, I would suggest. And let's finish this uh, little song and dance here. Mom fight, I don't expect to be too difficult, but we'll see. Could be wrong. I don't have Blue Candle or anything like that, so it won't be automatic either. We'll get that bomb on the way back. There is a boss trap room, okay. So that's basically exactly what I was hoping for. And we're not gonna have uh, greed in our shop either because we're fighting pride right now. That is awesome. So, you know, Anarchist Cookbook's terrible. But at least we know that we're not gonna have to deal with bullshit in our boss fight. And maybe we'll get Mom's Purse, which would be amazing. Apart from that, you know, 9 Volt, Nun's Habit, also good choices. Blue Candle would be amazing uh, because it would replace our existing spacebar item, which is, you know, it, it's been okay, but it's kind of run its course. I would say Monstro's Tooth, uh, you know, we had fun. Can't we just leave it at that, Monstro's Tooth? Why do we have to get all whiny about it? It's okay. What do we have in here? We have Mom's Purse. Holy shit. Okay. So we want that, and we want to pick up this, and we still have a boss trap room awaiting us as well. It's been pretty good plays so far, if I do say so myself. Let's go play this Blood Bank some more, and then we'll go to the Boss Trap Room, and then we'll play the Blood Bank some more, and then we'll go to the Boss Trap Room. Then maybe we'll play the Blood Bank some more, and then we'll go probably to the Boss Trap Room. Um, maybe I should get Child's Heart, but whatever. Maybe I should take Counterfeit Penny for this moment right here. Not a big deal, though. We could buy another key from that uh, shop if we wanted to. Now, oh, I gambled half a Spirit Heart away. Not that big of a deal. Okay, so we could take two trinkets into the boss fight. And then just leave with Polaroid and Mom's Pearl. Why Mom's Pearl? There are better trinkets, but not many. All I can really think Maggie, maybe Maggie's Faith is something I would prefer to take right now, but honestly, Mom's Pearl is really good for, for dropping those extra spirit hearts, especially if you don't have like Relic or Miter. And we picked up Meat. Meat is an awesome uh, pickup, and I'm stoked to have it. Extra damage, I think, or tears. Whatever one it says on Meat is, the, uh, is not the one that it actually is, if that makes sense. If it says that it's a damage upgrade, then it's a tears upgrade. If it says that it's a tears upgrade, it's a damage upgrade. That's all I remember about me. Now, I am saving uh, Monstro's Tooth. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use it effectively on the mom fight, but, you know, it's not like Peep's going to be a major challenge for us right now. Peep's dead. That was well worth what we did, what we uh, spent to get it, I would say. And we'll see if we can get the uh, blood bag now from our uh, special room. If... That was really dumb, but I still made it out. Ha ha ha, I win, you suck. 
All right, so might as well take one and more of these so we have less trips to make. You know you want to pay out with the blood bag. You, your sister already paid out with the IV bag. All that is left is for you to finally acquiesce and give me that moment of uh, strength here. Wow, you're going to give me a dime and a nickel and then another dime. That was 25 cents in two plays, followed by the blood bank. Or the blood bag, I should say. Time to fight the boss. We have uh, basically made this floor our consensual life partner. All right, so we monster us too quickly. Hey, it did about 10% of uh, total damage. It's actually worse than a brimstone shot at this point. So yes, I am looking to replace my spacebar item as soon as possible. That'll improve my quality of life a little bit. And dare I say, it's looking pretty good for the streak right now. It's not the most powerful run we've ever had, uh, but theoretically, we're making some good shit happen here. I'm very pleased with the decisions we've made. Not all my dodges have been perfect. That's normal for me. I took damage there, apparently. Um, but we got an HP upgrade, and we'll get the Polaroid in addition to Mom's Pearl. Down to the next floor with Map and Compass. And Mom's Purse and Brimstone. 6 HP, plenty of Spirit Hearts and more on the way. We'll lose one Spirit Heart for the privilege of doing this, and it was not worth it, so be it. And there's our Spirit Heart back, so no real problems there. Um, I may or may not... I'll, I'll at least take a look inside of that mob trap room. See if I want it. If it's a skeleton key, I'll probably pick it up. If it's not a skeleton key, I'll have to think about it, but it could end up happening. We'll see. And of course, I'll check out the secret room as well. Because we have x-ray goggles, which I totally forgot about. Now we don't actually have to... Oh my god, why even... Why did I do this? I think I went in and I was like, well, I can open the chest, like, risk-free, right? Nope, that is not correct. You cannot open the chest risk-free. And one more hit will kill you and your friends. And then we got a couple of Monstros. Now, if I, I believe if I use Monstro's Tooth... That was bad damage on my part. If I use Monstro's Tooth while there's Monstros on the level, the Monstro's Tooth will actually fall on me. So, I, Monstro, I guess, is like some kind of you know, mercenary from the medieval times. He's, he's got like a disguided or misguided sense of loyalty or something. He doesn't attack his own. Come on, monster, you should be dead. You have no health bar. There we go. All right, so we'll check out our secret room quickly. Saves us a bomb and allows us to get through here very, very easily. And then we'll be fighting our boss where hopefully we will earn a... I knew it. I knew it. Only got hit once though. That's all right. Uh, we're hopefully we'll get to deal with the devil afterwards. It's gonna be Daddy Long Legs. Monstro's tooth uh, actually worked, much to my surprise there, uh, and took out like 60% of his health. Daddy Long Legs is a pretty weak boss from an HP standpoint, just annoying from actually like a doing damage to him standpoint. One more hit will kill him, and there we go. Got to kill the flies, or sorry, the spiders. Never was good at anatomy, that's why I got a Bachelor of Science in Biology. And exclusively pills seems awesome. I found pills. We'll take it, just get it out of the rotation. Luck up. Sure, why not? Speed up. Sure, why not? And range up. I really expected one of those to be an HP up. So be it, I guess, though. And we will take the Pact. Taking Guppy's Tail would be interesting, but I've already passed over so many Guppy items. I think I'd rather just have the HP at this point. But the Pact is useful. Obviously, there's an arcade. There's a library. And you know what? I will check out the library. Get okay, check out. Library. Just to see if there was a Book of Belial, which there actually is. And we'll take the Necronomicon out of the rotation here. Why did I bother with this? Uh, pretty simply, oh, please be a fortune teller. It's not. Oh, well. Um, I think it was a smart idea because this is a way better item for us than... Um Oh, yeah, this is what I'm hoping for. With Mom's Pearl, we should get a lot of Spirit Heart payouts here with the amount of money that we have. Uh, and maybe pills and pretty flies, etc., etc. But Book of Belial is way better than Monstros 2 as of this moment. So we are going to gamble a little bit here, and so be it. I should have played the Blood Bank twice. That's a no-brainer. Sometimes I have no brains, though, so that makes sense. And we do have batteries, so we should be able to use uh, the Book of Belial fairly frequently. Obviously, we're looking to get the Blood Bag here, which should... Be more than a theoretical possibility. You remember that song by Boston? It's more than a theoretical possibility. I'm not gonna do the, you know, the part where he goes up afterwards. It's difficult. Hey, there's a pretty fly for us as well as a red heart. So we're gambling the shit out of these red hearts to hopefully win that blood bag. One HP plus speed upgrade does not win us the game right now. But if we're, ooh, if we're already down here, kind of like might as well go through with it. Is my feeling? Might as well take our time here and get all of the advantages that we possibly can. It's not like we're getting a ton of red hearts that are paying out for us anyway, so... I'm saving this lover's card as, like, a last-ditch, like, in case we die 
type thing. So, uh, more keys is making me think at this point that I probably should have taken Guppy's Tail. I always regret not taking Guppy's Tail. But is that just a bias thing? I guess there are situations where I could resent taking Guppy's Tail. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so we're gonna be... Oh, never mind. We're done. This is a good floor. Pleasure to do business with you. Oh, well, oh, we can't leave now. Pleasure doing business with you on this floor. Uh, extra HP is nice, and there's another Spirit Heart. We're gonna leave now, even though it would be advantageous to us to just keep playing. At some point, cooler heads have to prevail, and, um, you know, people got shit to do. And I feel like we're in an adequate position, more Spirit Hearts, uh, to win the game fairly realistically, so... I'm not too concerned about the fact that I probably could have earned like another five or six spirit hearts back there. If I end up losing, like as a result of that, then I uh, I, I apologize. There's nothing else I can say about it, really. Um, that would be a very silly way for me to die, but it wouldn't be the first time that I've been killed by lack of patience. That being said, I think we are uh, we're in a set position. Not to say that our win is set, but our goodness is set. Our, the quality of the run is already in the books at this point. There's not much else we can get in the near future that will change how I feel about the quality of our run. That is a sentence that made basically no sense, and I apologize. All right, mom's hearts. And we got 24 bombs. That was weird. Mom's heart usually disappears there for a second. Chose not to that time. There we go. Zambros? No, Monstros. Zambros and Monstros, my new album. It's coming out on Sub Pop a little bit later this year. Look forward to it. It's going to be good. I'm not biased at all. That bomb went off. Uh, obviously, our bombs are really shitty, but yeah, at least I didn't have to waste a pedestal on getting like Mr. Mega or something like that. Although Mr. Mega is pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, we're gonna have like continuously firing bombs in just a second here. Chubb ate that shit on the fucking shit. He took a brimstone shot to every bone in his body, every cartilage in his body, uh, and then got hit with the the bomb explosion as well. So we're done with this. Thank you, Mom's Heart, for an easy boss fight. Not Curse of Blindness. Oh, Curse of Darkness, that's what it's called. But also, fuck. Uh, we'll open this, and then we'll pick up the items, and then we'll just straight up fucking leave. Suck on that. Uh, mob Trap Room. Definitely not a boss trap room. Uh, so we're looking for... This is scary. We're looking for our boss room. And... I hate this because we already, you know, we went through the hardship to get map and compass, which was not very hard on this run, but oftentimes can be a little difficult. Ah, there we go. So this is where we want to be. Just want to check this out quickly. Okay, we'll, we'll go through this song and dance again. I'm glad to have it, to be honest with you. I'm going to take a second to recaffeinate here. Uh, I, obviously, I want to be careful about the trinkets that I'm actually taking with me. We can be able to, or we should be able to get a lot of uh, spirit hearts here. Judas tongue is worthless at this point, but I guess I'm gonna pick it up regardless because I'm an idiot. Uh, no, I just didn't see Mom's pearl on the ground there. Just no, you know what? Even if the tick shows up, it's okay. We'll be fine because we have Mom's purse. It's not that big of a deal anymore, and it always pays out for us. So that you know, the the more the merrier with respect to our spirit hearts here. Flat penny is not useful for us anymore, but one of the most useful trinkets in the early game. The longer you have it, I think. Just gonna pop the strength card right away. We're gonna take the lover's card with us as time goes on, so, you know, why not pop the strength card right away? Well, because it's worthless. Yeah, that's a good reason, I guess. Um, we're, we're gonna get convoluted with our trinkets here. It's okay. Just, hey, there, it's over. All right, so we have Mom, Mom's Pearl and the Polaroid. There we go. And that paid out with a lot of spirit hearts. That's nice for us. Let's finish off this room. Go fight uh, Isaac. It'll be interesting. I'm not sure how well set up we are, how well prepared we are for these late game boss fights, but I think we have a reasonably good chance. You know, Brimstone means that we're not going to be firing all the fucking time. It also means that we're not going to be firing all the fucking time, though. So, defensively, we're going to have a lot less shots to deal with, even though that one, there was only like one of them, it hit me right in the damn face. Uh, but we're also going to be dealing a little bit less damage, I would say, on average, than um, the typical run by this point. Maybe. Every time I get hit, I should run up and give him a little bit of the, the DOT from Poison Touch. Taking way more hits than I would like to right now. We are through one phase of the fight, though. It's just bad dodging, by the way. It's not like Isaac's playing particularly strongly. Uh, just my poor dodging and a little bit of bad luck has, has led this to happen. And we'll get that poison damage in there. As long as we abuse all of the advantages available to us, I would say we have a pretty uh, realistic shot at actually winning this run and keeping the streak alive. Every time I go into an Isaac video now, I go into it thinking this is going to be the last time I'm going to have to talk about the streak. I like talking about the streak, don't get me wrong. But it is the dominant narrative for me right now. Oh god, a sneeze. <coughs> oh no! 
Well, I'm gonna blame that damage on the sneeze. If the sneeze ends the streak, that would be a, a great story. ESPN would cover that forever. You're dead, and we still have spirit arts off the screen, which is a nice position to be in. And cool. What do we have here? Another four. Ah, quad shot we don't take. Every people yell. Oh, I didn't mean to take dodgers around. People yell at me all the time. They say take quad shot. It triples your damage. And then I take quad shot, and they're like, don't take quad shot. It lowers your damage. It takes it down by three quarters. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I just won't take it because I don't have to take it, and it could actually cost us the- Let me put it this way. It's not gonna win us the run if it does triple our damage. It would be very nice, though. But, is that worth the risk of it possibly ruining our run if it takes us down in damage? No, it's not, so... That's how we're gonna stick with that. You may agree, you may disagree. I don't really care. So, it was a pretty bad, um, combination of shop items there. That was a weird brimstone shot. Uh... We are going to get a Spirit Heart from Blue Famine, which is why I'm trying not to lose a Spirit Heart in the interim period. There's no reason, I'd say, to use uh, Book of Belial on War. War should be readily killable without the use of performance-enhancing books. And so far, so good. We've taken like like 70 or 80,000 speed upgrades, so I'm pretty sure that War is not going to be able to catch us. And he's dead, and there's our Spirit Heart, so we broke even on that room. It's another room that's not really... Uh, worth using Book of Belial on, so I always, or I seem to at least, always take a shot at Sloth as soon as the room starts. That's just me being an idiot. He's like usually an easily targetable foe, uh, but we should really kill Sloth last because that will give us a, a tarot card and something like the Devil could play a major role in us having a better chance of winning the game, so I think it's worth it. But at this point, I think the streak is going to stay alive and, uh, you know, consistency wins the day again. Our tarot card here is the Empress. Yeah, that's that's more important than the Lover's card. And we definitely don't need to use Book of Belial on this room, even though I'll probably get hit because I always get hit on this room. Oh, the prophecy is not coming true there. All right, this should be good. Again, I'm, I have to stress this because some people out there have weird conspiracy theories about YouTube. I am not brim snapping. I'm, you know, you should be able to tell by the fairly minimal amount of damage I'm actually dealing here that I am not brim snapping. Otherwise, I would take off like 10% of his health per hit. As of right now, certainly a lot less than that. And I don't need to. <laughs> Why risk, like, you know, glitching the game a little bit or exploiting the game a little bit at this point when it's going just fine? All I need is a little bit of patience here and uh, we'll, we'll be good. I don't know, don't remember what episode this is, but I don't think I've lost since episode like 779. Unless I like lost on the last one and just forgot about it, like blocked it out of my memory. If so, I apologize. But let's just pretend the streak's alive, because it makes me feel like I'm actually good at this video game. Whoop. Okay, and okay. One or two more volleys of two or three hits should be able to finish the jab here. And there we go. Poison Touch finishes him off. And thankfully, uh, again, I think Spirit Hearts were kind of the moral of the story there from uh, Fortune Tellers. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you liked the streak, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, I'll see you next time.